Hi, this is Nicholas Yock, a registered migration agent from Pathway to Oz. We help you plan and execute your permanent residency pathway to Australia. Did you know small business visa options are available in several states around Australia? Um, some of the states where the small business visa might be available include Queensland, Tasmania, and Canberra. These small business visas are very popular with applicants who are onshore and who cannot put the funds together to typically meet the standard investment visa requirements. These small business visas only require a small investment in certain states, or in some states you don't need to make any investment at all, you can just build up the business. However, these small business visas do require you to be living and working in Australia when you apply. So you will only be able to apply for these visas from inside Australia. Um, you might be able to apply for these visas on a student visa, a graduate visa, or some other type of work visa. Please note the information provided today is general in nature um, and is, may not be specific to your circumstances. All right, so the small business pathway in each state is slightly different. However, there are some common requirements, okay? So the small business owner pathway is a special kind of skilled regional visa subclass 491. So this means that you still need to pass a skill assessment in any occupation. It doesn't need to be related to your business. You need to meet the 491 visa requirements. So competent English, be under 45 and score at least 65 points. You must then lodge an expression of interest and be invited to apply for that visa from each state. So apart from these requirements, each state has their own specific requirements. Um, and I'm going to give you a very basic overview of the individual state requirements below. So Queensland has just opened uh, a small business owner pathway. Um, so some of the requirements for Queensland are that obviously you must pass a skill assessment in, in any occupation. Um, in Queensland, you must actually purchase an existing business for at least $100,000 and have full ownership of this business. Um, the business must be trading for six months and you must employ at least one Australian. Um, you must have at least six months experience running the business and you must be on a visa that allows you to work at least 35 hours. So for the Tasmania pathway, it's a little bit different. For the Tasmania, you don't actually need to purchase a business or make any investment at all. You just need to run a business. So if you set up a business when you're on one of these visas, it might be for you. So to be considered for Tasmanian pathway, you must obviously live and work in Tasmania. Um, you must demonstrate that you have set up and operated a business uh, for at least six months. You must demonstrate that the business is highly likely to be able to continue to give you a personal income above $53,900. And you must show and have an understanding of the responsibilities and requirements of employing Australians. The Canberra pathway is similar to the Tasmanian pathway um, in that you actually don't need to purchase an existing business, um, but you do need to have, you can set one up yourself, um, but you do need to have at least 51% ownership in a registered business located in the ACT. Um, you must be resident in Canberra for at least three months. Um, you must work in Canberra for at least three months. You must have an ABN that's been active for at least 12 months. Um, you must be self-employed and earn at least $520 a week um, or $1,000 full-time. Um, the turnover of the business must be at least $200,000 per annum. Your business must be operating for at least six months and it must be profitable. Um, you must also take a salary from the business. So for six months, you must take at least $26,000. And for the 491 for three months, you must take at least $13,000. You must also employ at least one Australian um, for the 491 for at least 13 weeks, a minimum of 20 hours. All right, so look, guys, that's just a very basic point. You can take this information and go off and look at the individual states and sort of see, you know, how you meet the requirements. The information was general in nature. Um, and look, if you would like to discuss your situation further, I'd recommend chatting with a registered migration agent. Thank you.